and it's adjusted accordingly by the Social Security Administration and there's documentation that is in fact submitted. Uh, and this is not something that we have control over, it's something that the township has to deal with. I believe forever. So if, if, if I'm not understanding correctly, your income is higher with more money than you make? If you, if you make more money, they take more money out of your social security check. Yes. All right. And therefore, you reimburse those people. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anyone else wish to be heard on? I'm sorry, but does anyone else wish to be heard on any agenda items? Seeing none. Well, a board commission announcements. Commissioner Scarpelli? Karen, I don't have an announcement, but I would like to commend you and your department for the tree lighting and the lighting ceremony held on Sunday. Uh, with all the challenges of, that COVID brings, uh, having Santa coming on the float, uh, not being able to utilize the cafeteria, uh, the display in the old, I think everything was, was fantastic. Uh, I think it was the biggest crowd I've ever seen on Franklin Avenue for a tree lighting ceremony. Uh, I was telling Mr. Mayor that uh, I remember one of the tree lighting ceremonies at my father had there was 20 people left. Uh, so uh, <laughs> it's quite a change from then. And uh, I just think you and your department should be congratulated on the job. Thank you, Mr. Bishop Trump. I definitely echo Dr. Bishop Trump's comments about the tree lighting. I never said nothing like that. And Joe, I was one of the 20 plans your father saw tree lighting. It was good, there's no traffic that was the advantage of that. Uh, this announcement from public safety of Eric Simpson's, um, some of the retirees. Uh, I want to give my condolences to Dick Moran's family and um, South South Penny on the whole next day. Thank you, Thank you, Commissioner. Mr. Evans. Mayor, I also want to congratulate you and the, your team. You, uh, it's fortunate that you have some very dedicated people uh, that are aligned with what you're thinking, what your, your wishes are, and your vision. Uh, and I think this year's Christmas display uh, represents that. Congratulations to you and your team. Thank you, Christian. Christian Kelly. Thank you, Mayor. I'm just going to echo everyone's sentiments. Uh, I, I thought the uh, model was the fireworks in September, but this, uh, I believe that we have the fireworks. So uh, kudos to you. Uh, Public Health will be having a uh, booster uh, clinic on December 28th. Uh, so if you need a booster, you want to get a booster before you go into New Year's Eve festivities, uh, uh, look for a sign up for that uh, in the email blast. And uh, today is the 80th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. So if we just have a moment of silence uh, for that, that, that uh, anniversary. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, I also have a couple of announcements. <coughs> First and foremost, I, I have to agree with all of you. I feel like the tree of the moral lighting was a spectacular event. I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your help because I know everyone helped in their own way. All right. And that's the only way we are as successful as we always are because it's a team effort. All right. And everyone pitches in and does what they need to do to make sure that our people can let them short of the very best. I would be remiss though if I didn't thank my parks department. Frank Romero is here with us again this evening, representing the department. But uh, Frank and the crew in the back. Uh, and this year's vision was pretty much um, laid out by uh, Chrissy Frasteri, who did an outstanding job. It was her idea to, uh, to place the ISIS skating rink uh, in the center of town, uh, the globe where folks could take pictures, to have Santa come in on the float. And I, I think it was an event that was, that was long overdue. And I think the crowd. That can be attributed to the fact that folks wanted to be out. Folks wanted to come out and see their town, all right, in it, its full glory in this holiday season. And I, I think we, we satisfied that demand. And I'm very pleased. And once again, I'm very thankful to each and every one of you and all of our town employees who did everything humanly possible to make that a great success. You know, uh, as part of my short comments, 
uh, that evening. Um, I did, in fact, say that it is absolutely the most wonderful time of the year. Uh, but what makes it even better is it's the most wonderful time of the year in the most wonderful town. So I'm just very proud to be here with all of you, giving our folks exactly what they need at this point in time. So again, thank you everyone. Thank you, Parks Department. Thank you, Paul Board, for everything that you do. Uh, my second announcement is evening, we have a play coming up on Parks and Rec play, which is again nothing short of spectacular. It will be held on December 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th at 7.30 and on the 19th, which is a Sunday afternoon at 2.30 p.m. Uh, tickets are in fact available. I would encourage everyone to get them. I'm sure it's gonna be a great time. And again, at a great time of year. Thank you very much. All right, uh, ordinances. We have no ordinances on introduction this evening. We have no ordinances on the second reading. So we'll move into resolutions. Commissioner Kelly, would you like to start? Sure. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the first resolution I have on uh, this evening is number 360.1. Whereas the United States Space Force USSF is a new branch of the Armed Forces. It was established December 20th, 2019, with the National Fiscal Year 2020 National Defense Authorization. It currently has 16,000 individuals assigned to the Space Force, which is an option given to the Air Force Cadets. The Air Force Academy as of 2019. Whereas the primary mission of the U.S. Space Force, as directed by Congress, is to maintain and protect and expand U.S. fleet of advanced military satellites that form the backbone of U.S. global military operations. Whereas the United States Space Force was established within the Department of the Air Force, of where it's being the Secretary of the Air Force has responsibilities for the United States Space Force under the guidance of the Secretary of Defense, and additionally, of course, our general, general Donis and Chief of Space Operations serves as senior military member of the United States Space Force. Right on September 1st, 1982, the Air Force established the AISPC, the space operation that is primary mission. Cold War Air Space Operations focus on missile warning, launch operations, satellite control, space surveillance, and command and control for national leadership. In 1991, Operation Death Explorer validated and has continued focus and support to the warfighter throughout through the use of GPS to enable the famous left hook group proving the value of space based capabilities. Whereas after September 11th terrorist attacks, the presidential, the president directed military action against Afghanistan and Iraq. The AFSPC provided extensive space based support to the U.S. Central Command and in areas of communications, position, navigation, time, and meteorology. And warning. In 2005, the Air Force expanded its mission areas to include cyberspace. Whereas in July 2018, the Air Force cyber mission transferred to the Air Combat Command, which generated the greatest. Passing for an integrated information warfare capability within the Air Force. We will allow the AFSPC to focus on gaining and maintaining space superiority outpacing our adversaries in the space domain. As Air Force leaders, I will support commissions to pass on the county task of state and future and thank our members for the Space Force to recognize and celebrate the United States Space Force on its second birthday. Hashtag Space Force, hashtag movie, hashtag Space Force birthday, branch, hashtag branch six. Uh, so moved. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Uh, the second one I have this evening is number 361.20. Whereas the English settlements in North America were tiny for a tiny place along the eastern seaboard, as settlements pushed west into the interior of the institution of militia, militia which the colonists brought with them from England and went with them. Whereas when the National Guard's oldest regiments sent for their first drill on the village green in Salem, Massachusetts, they were barely three months old, organized on December 13th, 1636, they did now celebrate as the National Guard birthday. Whereas the militia tradition and citizens organizing themselves into military units responsible for their own defense, organizing the militia into regiments increased in insufficiency and responsiveness proved critical for the defense of their communities. Its oldest units, like the one pictured above, are the, the oldest units in the United States military, one of the oldest military units in the world. Whereas the militia called the National Guard, called the National Guard since 1916 has served the community, state, and nation for nearly 400 years, the citizen soldiers have fought every major American conflict from 1637 to the present day operations in Afghanistan and Iraq. Much has changed since the first muster. Whereas from the Revolution to the Civil War to the World War, the present day, the Council is now thankful for and is proud to support the United States Army National Guard 
on the occasion of the National Guard 385th birthday. Township members go to sacrifice to serve the nation and National Guard and thanks to the National Guard veterans for pulling out the home today. I therefore be resolved to board commissions in Township of Nellie County as a state of the to recognize and celebrate the United States National Guard on its 385th birthday. Hashtag National Guard, hashtag Armed Forces, hashtag any birthday. So moved. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarfellis. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Evans. Thank you. I'm being resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nellie County, that's the state of New Jersey. But the Treasurer of the is hereby authorized to refund over payments and tax charges in the amount of $2,461.44. The block two hundred block twenty seven. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Whereas the township of Billy has been needed to retain the services of an attorney who specializes in municipal land use law and policy to provide legal advice and services to the code enforcement department in connection with the township's land use policies and procedures. Whereas NJSA. 48.1-51 AI permits the award of a contract to have public bidding and whereas Angela Sotelli Esquire, the law firm of Cardinal Zed, Sotelli Pipes, and Jim Tempo, 360 to say Gavin Hill, New Jersey, has submitted a proposal the amount of not to exceed $10,000. Our response on our behalf of the account 201 and will be certified the chief financial officer subject to the adoption of the 2022 budget. Whereas the anticipated term of this contract is for 12 months, beginning January 1, 2022, through December 1st, 2022. Law firm of Iris and has completed its bid. The business entity the disclosure certification certifies that they have not made any affordable disqualifying contributions to the third party candidate. The township of Melbourne, the previous one year, that contract will prohibit them from making any affordable contributions to the term of the contract. And that's <coughs> The result of the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nellie County, the State of New Jersey, that the mayor is hereby authorized to return to a contract with Angelo Sotelli uh, of the firm of Pirate Zenith, Sotelli, Paris, and Janet Temple, and the Commissioner's Service. We have further resolved that a copy of this resolution, as well as the contract, shall be placed on file with the clerk of the Township of Nellie County, and that supports the local public contracts law of New Jersey in the form of the Township of Year 2, will be published in the Nellie Sun. So, thank Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Starkville. Aye. The Mayor Tucci. Aye. My next uh, the resolution is uh, substantially the same uh, as my uh, uh, first resolution. Uh, this, this resolution is for an attorney at the Municipal Tax Council uh, for dealing with municipal tax appeals. Uh, it is uh, determined by the tax assessor. And certified writing of the value of the service by the vendor will uh, exceed $17,500. Uh, whereas the law firm of Tyron Zenith, Sally Paris, and Jenna Tempo has submitted a piece of products and services, a total of which is not to exceed $45,000. Uh, and the term of this uh, contract is for 12 months beginning January uh, 2022 through December 31st, 2022. Uh, funds are available in the account. Uh, 201, 204, 200, and such to the adoption of the uh, 2022 uh, budget as a temporal. Uh, now, they're going to be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Republic County of Essex, New Jersey, with the mayor being and is hereby authorized to have a contract with Frank Zinn, Esquire, or the firm of Iron Zinn's Flight Times and Jenny Temple as a professional service. We further resolve the copy of this resolution, as well as the contract shall be placed on file with the clerk of this. And a notice in the reports of public contract law in the form of the test here too shall be published in the notice of the summary. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. My next one is uh, again very similar. Uh, this one is for the tax assessor's office uh, and it uh, covers this hiring and services of. Matrix appraisal company located at 7 Hudson Avenue in West Orange uh, for fees not to exceed $50,000. Uh, the anticipated term of this contract is January 1, 22 through December 31st, 2022. 
funds are available for an account 201, 205, then the research guideline CFO is subject to the adoption of the 2020 uh, budget. Now, therefore, we resolve that our commission of the township of Chloe, County of Essex State of Jersey, authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with uh, Hendricks Appraisal uh, Systems uh, LLC. So, sorry. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrov. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci's. Aye. The next resolution is for the uh, uh, athletic commissioners of the township authorizing the engagement of Eagle Seal, Webster, and Scarlet as counsel for the township concerning compliance and procedural uh, legal issues, uh, especially in the area of open uh, public meetings act and open uh, public records at a corporate uh, meeting. Amount of the contract is meant not to exceed $85,000. And if funds will be available in account 112205, that's subject to the adoption of the uh, 2022 uh, budget. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commission of the Township in the of the local public contract law, uh, hereby authorizes and approves the Board of the Postal Service contract. Pursuant to non fair and open process enforcement provisions of the NWSA 19 of the Act, 29.5 as legal tax includes the contract for professional services, which shall provide that legal counsel for any attorney on staff shall be paid an hourly rate of $215 for legal services uh, by the attorney uh, and $100 an hour for paralegal legal. For the result of the CFO has executed the certification of funds uh, for the contract and that sufficient funds will be available for said contract through the 2022 budget. For the result of the services records for this resolution shall not exceed $85,000 in the aggregate. For the result of the anticipated term of this contract of January 1, 2022 uh, through December 1st, 2022, for the result. The mayor and township clerk are hereby authorized and directed to execute, seal, and deliver said contract with professional services on behalf of the name of the township and for the result that the business entity uh, disclosure certification, business, business entity disclosure campaign contributions shall be placed on file with this resolution and that a copy of this resolution shall be published as required within 10 days of this past assembly. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarfelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. There's a township of Nelly County of Essex in the state of New Jersey has previously issued bonds and bond participation notes and or other debt obligations, whereas a connection with the issuance of certain bonds and for the purpose of assisting underwriters to comply with Rule 15 C 12 of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, the township has. Covenant and entered into more and more undertakings or agreements to provide continuing disclosure to the public marketplace. Whereas the continuing disclosure obligation requires the township to file certain financial information and notice of certain events in specific places and at specific times. Whereas the township is desirous of retaining a professional firm that specializes in continuing disclosure matters to make the necessary filings as a specified. At a specified place and spend specified time to support the township, continuing to store the obligation. Funds are available in the account 201, and are subject to the adoption of the 2022 budget. Now, therefore, we resolve that the commissioners of the township of the county of Essex as follows. Mayor Township Clerk are here to authorize and direct to execute the agreement with the NW Financial Board to Hudson Place for services. Professional financial services. Uh, total amount now to exceed $1,500 in points for proposal dated uh, December 7th, 2021. This contract is awarded without competitive bidding as a professional service in points with NJSA 48 11-5 1A of the local contracts law because the contract is for a service performed by a person who is authorized by law to practice professional professions in the limit of their life. Notice that this action shall be printed once in the morning sun. The legal district in the township will be so. Thank Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Uh, my next resolution 
pursuant to RS 48 5-17 allows the township tax collector to cancel net balances <coughs> and pass them on uh, uh, $10. I believe the resolution is good. Sorry. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrov. Aye. Commissioner Scarfelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Grants the township of the Department of Government Finance as the need to acquire grant consulting services as a non fair contract pursuant to the provisions of the NJS. Services 
according to the fleet schedule attached. The has been only so successful fleet and submitted a business and disposal certification, which certifies that said corporation has not made any reportable contributions to a political or candidate committee in the township held in the previous one year, that the contract will prohibit but only associates from making any reportable contributions through the term of the contract. Whereas the contract is not to exceed $165,000 for the general engineering services, just funds are built in the account of 201 and then certified that the chief financial officer said certification to be attached to this resolution will be subject to the adoption of the 2022 budget. Now, there will be resolved by the Board of Commission Township of Delhi as a contract with the only associates as described here. You further resolve that the business disclosure and the certification determination of value be placed on file with this resolution. You further resolve that a notice of this action should be put once in the office of the courts for the whole public contracts on the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Bertrago. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. So I have Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Bertrago, are you receiving? I don't have any names. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. All right, my first resolution this evening I will introduce on behalf of the entire Board of Commissioners, whereas the Township of Nutley has a continuing need for the services of the Special Development Council to a non fair and non open contract as professional service pursuant to the provisions of NJSA 1944A 2025 and NJSA 2011 1 as amended, and whereas John P. Lucino of the law firm of P. Lucino. Webster, Michael Scala, and Taylor, 600 for Symphony Road for Symphony, New Jersey, has ably and continuously provided these services since October 1, 2013. Whereas John P. Invencino of Invencino, Webster, Michael Scala, and Taylor has submitted a 2021 fee schedule to provide such services at an hourly rate of $215 for legal services by attorneys and an hourly rate of $100 for services by paralegal or law firm. Whereas the contract will not exceed 95,000 for the period January 1, 2022 to December 31st, 2022. And funds are available from account number 2 226205 which will be certified by the Chief Financial Officer, said certification being subject to the adoption of the 2022 municipal budget. And whereas the law firm of Ingresino, Webster, Wecker, Scott, and Taylor has completed and submitted a business entity disclosure certification. Which certifies that they have not made any reportable disqualifying contributions to a political or candidate committee in the township of Melbourne in the previous one year that would violate NJSA 19 colon 44A 20.5 or the township's local unit a plan ordinance or NJ ELEC disclosure requirements and that the contract would bar John P. Lucino from making any reportable contributions to determine the contract. Now, therefore, we resolve that the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Melton County Rest of State of New Jersey contract with Special Development Council as follows. A, the Mayor and Township Clerk are hereby authorized and directed to execute, seal, and deliver a 2021 contract for professional legal services with John B. Lucino, a B. Lucino, Webster, Blake, Scott, and Taylor, uh, or 600 for Symphony Road for Symphony, New Jersey, pursuant to a non fair process in accordance with NJSA 19 code. Return beginning January 1, 2022, December 31st, 2022, for the stated hourly rate not to exceed $95,000. B, a copy of this resolution as well as the contract and the business disclosure entity certification and business entity disclosure campaign contributions shall be placed on file with the clerk and see a copy of this resolution shall be published as required by the law within 10 days of this passage. I move the resolution. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrocco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Whereas Town of has a need to acquire professional service as a fair and open contract pursuant to the provision of NJSA 19.44A-20.5, and whereas the Department of Parks and Public Property has a need to acquire specialized professional services for a qualified tree removal service. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Towns for Nell being accounted by the state of New Jersey that the township clerk is hereby authorized to advertise for sealed bids for the removal of township trees throughout the township. Be a further resolve that sealed bid will be received on Wednesday, December 29, 2021, in the Commission Chambers Township Hall at 11 a.m. prevailing time, at which time they will be publicly open 
and the reds. These are typically for trees that we do not have the ability within the parks department to take down and oftentimes uh, require a, 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 a crane or a new resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrocki. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Whereas the board of commissioners town to the county of Essex State, New Jersey, in accordance with provision of RS 40A, for the eight, the following transfers and appropriations for the 2021 budget, being and same, are hereby authorized and approved. The Department of Parks and Public Property from health insurance, $72,500 to parks, other expenses in the amount of $52,500, change tree, other expenses in the amount of $15,000, recreation, other expenses in the amount of $5,000, or a like amount. Whereas the township of Melody has a need to acquire dental pay services on behalf of the township, and whereas such services may be acquired as a non fair open contract pursuant to the provisions of NJSA 19 code 44 20.4 or 20.5 is appropriate, and whereas IMAC insurance management and consulting shop rates, but none of these quotes were comparable to benefits the township currently has with Delta Dental. And whereas the township has negotiated with Delta Dental of New Jersey, of Parsippany, New Jersey, and has retained a one-year renewal rate with a zero percent increase, and whereas the anticipated cost for the service will not exceed $362,100 per year, and whereas funds are available from accounts 2 126 243 and 2-05-707-243, we um, certified by the Chief Financial Officer sub subject to the adoption of the 2022 municipal budget. And whereas Delta Dental New Jersey has completed and submitted a business entity disclosure certification, which certifies that Delta Dental has not made any reported contributions to a political or candidate committee in the township of Melody in the previous one year, and that the contract will prohibit Delta Dental from making any reportable contributions to the term of the contract. Now, therefore, be a result of where the commissioner of the township of Nutley authorizes the commissioner of parks and public property to enter into contract with Delta Dental. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrocco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Next one is a uh, one that brings me great pleasure after the next two resolutions. Um, whereas Ernie Eagle Scout, Scout Grant, the highest achieving rank in Scout, a Boy Scout must fulfill requirements in the areas of leadership, service, and outdoor skills. Whereas, although many options are available to demonstrate efficiency in these areas, a number of specific requirements are necessary to advance the ranks tenderfoot, second class, first class, star, light, and eagle. Whereas, to advance a Boy Scout must pass specific tests that are organized by requirements and merit bills. And whereas, at each of his rank advancement, a Boy Scout takes part in the Scoutmaster Conference and beginning with the star rank and continuing through life of the Eagle, the Scout must demonstrate participation in increasingly more responsible service program. Whereas the first the Scout learns, second the Scout is tested, third the Scout is reviewed, and fourth the Scout is recognized, and the final step in advancement involves presentation of the badge and a ceremony before the entire troop. And whereas James Barr McQueen has achieved Eagle Scout rank and demonstrated the significant positive impact Eagle Scouts had on society every day upon completion of his Eagle project at Palisades Interstate Park, where he cleaned a mile stretch of trail and created a 100 foot punching bridge over a section that was prone to flooding. Now, therefore, we resolve that the Board of Commissioners of Townsville Mountain, the County of Us, State of New Jersey, congratulates and commands James R. McQueen. On achieving on his achievement rather in completing his Eagle Scout project and extends best wishes for continued success. I move resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Congratulations, Ty. Commissioner Evans. I absolutely congratulations, Ty. Commissioner Petraco. Congratulations, Ty. Commissioner Scarpelli. Goes without saying, congratulations, John Paul. Mayor Tucci. Absolutely, John Paul. Whereas, again, the Eagle Scout rank, the highest advancement rank in scouting, the Boy Scout must fulfill the requirements of the areas of leadership, service, and outdoor skills. This, this resolution here is the one uh, that I just worked on, I just read. Uh, so I will skip down to the part where this individual is recognized. 
whereas Joseph Treglio has achieved Eagle Scout rank and demonstrated significant positive impact Eagle Scouts have on society every day upon completion of this Eagle Scout project, designing and building an extension to the Cooper Memorial Garden and Vincent Cemetery where the ashes are interred. Now, therefore, we resolve that the Board of Commissioners of the Town of the County of West, the State of New Jersey, congratulates and commends Joseph Treadfield on achieving and completing his Eagle Scout project and extends their best wishes for continued success. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Congratulations, Mr. Commissioner Evans. Again, congratulations, Mr. Commissioner Petrato. Great job, Mike. Commissioner Scoprelli. Congratulations, I. Mayor Tucci. John Paul Miller. Whereas the town of Nutley has a need to acquire a vision care network plan services on behalf of the township, and whereas such services may be acquired as a non parallel contract pursuant to the provisions of NJSA 19 colon 44A 20.4 or 20.5 as appropriate, and whereas premier option benefits 990 Cedar Bridge Avenue, Brick, New Jersey, submitted a proposal indicating they will provide the services for the sum of $1,558. And whereas funds will be available from account 2 days 526 245 and have been certified by the Chief Financial Officer subject to the adoption of the 2022 fiscal budget, now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Council of authorizes the Commissioner of Parks and Public Property to enter into a contract with three year option that I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mr. Scarpelli, Mayor Tucci. Aye. Whereas an application has been filed by the Nest Old Nutley LLC, trading as the Hudson Road for a person to person transfer of a plenary retail consumption license number 0716 33 028 006, heretofore issued to FH, FSH Holdings LLC, trading as the Franklin Steakhouse for premises located at 238 Franklin Avenue, Nutley, New Jersey. And whereas the submitted application form is complete in all respects, the transfer fees have been paid and the license has been properly renewed for the current license term. And whereas the applicant is qualified to be licensed according to all standards established by Title 33 New Jersey statutes, regulations promulgated thereunder, as well as pertinent local ordinances and conditions consistent with Title 33. And whereas the applicant has disclosed and the issuing authority reviewed the source of all funds used in the purchase of the license, and the license business and all additional financing obtained in connection with the license businesses. Now, therefore, we are resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley does hereby approve, effective December 7, 2021, the transfer of the Apperset Plenary Retail Consumption License to Last Call Nutley LLC, trading as the Hudson Rose, and does hereby direct the municipal clerk to endorse the license certificate to the new ownership as follows. This license, subject to all its terms and conditions, is hereby transferred to Lasco, New Jersey, LLC, trading as the Hudson Rose, effective December 7, 2021. I move resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Yeah, before I vote aye, I just want to say that um, you know, we've had a number of restaurants fall addicted to the pandemic and to see some activity starting up. Uh, one here with Franklin Steakhouse. Where American Bistro is, should be opening shortly. The uh, moment Bistro opened up on the St. Gabriel, on uh, Washington and the, the Park, the new eating establishment opening up shortly. So uh, it's, it's a good sign that these businesses are starting to uh, pick back up. And uh, you know, I think that's a good sign for the township and the business community as we move forward. So I hope I. Well said, Commissioner Michael. All right, this is the portion of the meeting where we open it up to the public for public comment. Let's say what we're doing here. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should approach the microphone and provide their name and address of the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person should limit their address to five minutes. All remarks of the Board and its individual members must be addressed to the Mayor. Mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the board. Yes, sir. Good evening. Uh, which, um, I, didn't, I didn't come here to offend any animal lover. I 
follow that and uh, yeah, put it aside. I said, but you know, in the meantime, what we've done in the past year is this. You're letting us tax frequent my property. I, I, I think fleas coming into my house. I had such a devastating flea infestation two years ago. It was beyond the realm of reality. I said, is that fair to me? I mean, I'm an animal lover too. Like, why are you, why are you feeding tax? We have town ordinances that say that you can't harbor any like cats or animals. And this is what you're doing. It's just, you know, cat has to be seven months or less to take it back. You can't like feed it. You can't. I says they're tracking cats from all over the area and they're coming through. It's like a deer force in here. Again, for the second time. Um, it's not right. Where do you draw the line with this? So that's why I'm here tonight. I just wanted to present this because it's not getting any better. Then I find out that there's a federal letter of where there's 1,400 units back here. And they, someone informed me that they went to get um, to check out what has been written up on the property behind me at the apartment complex. And that they have an infestation of uh, mice. So now, Trying to figure this stuff out. Are the cats here to, to cure the mice uh, infest infestation? Are they, there are some persons just rolled out of bed because they love cats and feed them a cat in the neighborhood. But I, I just, it, it, it actually like killed me to see this. And now I'm looking at the, the the organization happens, the lady gives me the pamphlet, the organization is CPAWNJ, Communities Promoting Animal Welfare. And I'm, I'm looking at this stuff, right? And I look at the cover cat photographs, and the cat that got hit is the most beautiful cat inside on the pamphlet. I mean, like, what, what, we have ordinances. You can't order the cats. It's against the town ordinance. And here these people are doing it. Like, is this stuff legit or on the level? Or it, you know, it has one good thing and then it has a drawback. The drawback is I can't have any kind of sand in my yard because it's, it, it, it becomes a, a kitty litter box or some kind of animal litter box. Right. I, I mean, like, there's, I was actually investing for the second time I'm telling you, like, it's expensive. If you have pets, it's very expensive to go through these treatments. And I mean, like, so is, it, is this is this what's what's going on here? It's like everything's a, kind of a double standard. I just, I, maybe you don't know about it, but I, it, it's Mr. Kelly's Mr. Kelly's apartment. And I was wondering if you know if you got some kind of uh, feedback on it, or is this going to continue? Because this is a pretty big organization. Where if you look at this. These cat owners from every like section of the town could join it. And it sounds good, but it's not good. can I make a suggestion? Why don't you speak with Commissioner Kelly uh, before we go into the executive session and give him the information as to where this is occurring? Yeah. Perhaps he can he can get the animal control people out uh, here. I'm I'm right here answer, but you know, I don't want to sound negative, but I've been like complaining for like 30 years now. The groundhog infestation. Nobody ever has ever met yet, like called me back or said, hey, we're going to do something. We're going to do a tracking thing. Or, because I can't, I, I, I refuse to, like, I don't want to do it. And I know the strategy is, is to let me value off, let me get hit by car. This is the most beautiful cat. Yeah, well, no, that's, I don't think that's anybody up here's strategy or not. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah. But is that they took the year to make it like be a member of the group that's being yeah. fed? Yeah. Well, I'm, like, so, I'm sorry that I had to. Had to, had to I understand. I'm um, guess my time on me. Okay, like, yes. Why can't somebody who wants to feed the cat, like, take a little ride, go into the park? As long as they don't come in my yard, and I don't have, I don't see all of this, 
I can't have this. It's not like health. It's not. It's, it's not good. I understand. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is pretty uh, The animal uh, cruelty uh, contract that, 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 that is our animal control contract. It's just not for animal cruelty. Uh, for all sorts of animal control. Right. 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 And, and, and recently, I think it was back in March, uh, the board of commissioners expanded its uh, its uh, dog and cat ordinances uh, with, the, with the assistance of the, the town attorney uh, to kind of prevent some of the situations we've been when you're, you're describing. If, if you see this kind of uh, conduct, reach out to the health department. I'll, I'll talk to you afterwards and uh, we'll send someone out. If there is any violations, we'll make sure that they're, they're educated and probably continues we'll, we'll, we'll cite that. Uh, you know, this is a touch of stuff. It takes a lot to come up here. I am a cat lover. I love cats. Okay? And because of, this isn't the first time this has been happening. Now, I come over there up here and shoot my mouth about something like this. And I know it shouldn't even be like around. It shouldn't be like here. It, 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 it's, it's not good. Right. Yeah. And, and, and part of the awareness is, is to combat some of the things that I've seen. Oh, um, is it? Yes. Is it yes. So I hope, like, you know, the good safety is like kind of like maybe, I don't know, make this stop. So these cats, like, to see them, like, in the end, you not, like, when it's like 10 degrees out and they have nowhere to live and they're running like a park and then an hour and they jump out. And it's like, it's like, I don't see the rationale between my boots on cliff. Okay, cat uh, population. Right. And, 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 uh, okay, for right. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you for sharing sure. with us. Okay. Okay. Morning, 462 Chester Street. We have two chairs for this in the last seat. I wanted to thank Frank Romero. I asked three people about to tell them to have a pretty talk about 18 stacks of table. Man was single pair and one in one hand. So no is for a day. I'm not going to ask any questions about the chicken we go to who's not going to answer. But I'm really ready to file a four or five mediations because I have a number of goals about that haven't been answered. They're pretty straightforward. Uh, I haven't done asbestos abatement. This chick will lead over, and I, I, there was a letter or something that it's done, but I guess it was not proved. And that was under the OSHA, which is a federal law, and it hadn't been published. And they also, with, with the bond ordinances, that's straightforward. Each bond ordinance clearly states on record in the municipal clerk's office, and they said, I got receives, I think, one answer from the uh, computers. Nothing else. So my concern is, I, really, I, I know we pay people you know, maybe five thousand dollars a night to do this. We really have to go down this. We can't get these opens to answer because the last week they are So they have an answer that are. Yes. Well, right now we're looking at it's calls. Okay. And we will. Thank you. I'm still looking for the answers. My concern is the last week I was asked. I asked you. Well, who was laid off as a result of COVID? Who lost their job? How many times it took points? And I put that over the place. That's all that's also is, is being responded to as well. Okay, clearly that I mean, that's also being responded to as well. So. Okay, because I haven't received. Okay, well, I'm sure it's on its way. But I, I'm just curious why is it being so long? I mean, it, it, seven business days. Mr. Moore, I know you're aware. They have seven business days to respond. Seven business days, yes. Bills for two days. I took the class. Okay. Yes. But I'm curious when I ask you about how many people were where they are, what's the time you had? Do you know how many people were there? I, I, I believe initially it was it was two people. Uh, I know one was uh, was placed in another department, so that was that was avoided. There were several uh, positions that were eliminated. All right. Uh, there was uh, 
There were some replacements that were made from folks who retired or making a large amount of money, replaced with folks who entered uh, on an entry level. Um, and that's basically the answer. So, I have that into the street. I'm sorry? I'll have that into the street seven days. Seven days. Of course, the mayor just said there were only two people that were subject to a layoff because of COVID that you just mentioned. One, of course, was transferred to another department and not laid off. Um, but the others are not layoffs related to COVID. These are the ones submitted to civil service. So just wanted you to be aware of only two. Only two initially, it's really only one. And we'll provide that information. I gave it uh, to the clerk's office and we're going to formulate the response. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. Does anyone else like to hear? If not, we have a need for an executive session this evening. Uh, and I'll conclude with that. We will not be coming out to take any action. So if there's some of the motion to go to the executive, we will obtain motions. Second. Whereas Section 8 of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, permits the exclusion of public from meeting in certain circumstances. And whereas the public body is of the opinion that such circumstances exist, and whereas the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nully and the County of Essex and State of New Jersey desires to proceed to close executive session, and now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley move into close executive session to discuss contract negotiations and litigation. And litigation. Be it further resolved that the time when such discussion may be disclosed to the public shall be when and such disclosure may be made without adversely affecting the township of Nutley, pending and or anticipated legal personnel, contractual matters, and other matters within the exceptions provided for by statute. This resolution shall take effect immediately. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrago. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Yes, please. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrano. Aye. Commissioner Starkmelly. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Thank you very much. Stay well. And the time is 810.